Hello and welcome to the first tutorial uh, for crafting audio active visuals in Unity 3D. So we'll be learning a little bit of what you just saw there, how to make these different kinds of visuals interact with scale, pop and glow to frequency analysis using what's called an FFT, a fast Fourier transform. Now, if that sounds scary to you, don't worry, we're not diving into the depths of the nerdy maths to get the FFTs. I provide that code for you so we can get started quickly and simply. And you just get to play with the output values, hooking them up into different uh, objects, scales, material properties, and things like that. Uh, this series is a, um, this tutorial is a series of six classes. Um, we go through making cubes move. Now you can see down here in the project structure, I've actually included in the base project, a sample of each of these tutorials actually completed. So you can, at any time, if you're stuck, just open up the completed tutorial, have a look at it and check that your code is right uh, against the completed and working code for each of these tutorials. Um, you can see here in the base project that I've got some, uh, got a script here, which is our frequency band analyzer. Uh, I'll just quickly show you how this works. Now what we've done uh, we have four frequency band analyzers in our base objects, which we're going to be using in each of our scenes. Uh, and there's one for atmospheric, uh, there's one for bass, there's one for drums, and there's one for synth. Now, what we've done here is we've had a good friend of mine make a music track for this tutorial series and split it into what's known as stems. So they're just four separate elements that make up the entire track. So like I said, one of them is Atmos, bass, drum, and synth. And so if I open this tutorial one introduction and hit play, and make sure I've got my gizmos turned on at the top here, you can see here, it's displaying the frequencies of each of these different uh, elements. So you'll notice here that the drums are starting to come in. It's a bit of lead in time and then the other parts of the track will start to play. There we go, we get our Atmos coming in. So what we're going to be doing is we'll be using those different values which are being um, spat out by the frequency analysis to drive values like a scale, uh, positions, um, emission for, uh, for materials, and those kinds of things. So this course does require some, you know, pretty much pretty intermediate level knowledge of Unity and basic coding. Um, I do talk through everything and have provided examples here. So even if you are new, new to Unity, you can probably find your way around enough to be able to start piecing things together. And look, if it, if it doesn't all sit with you and there are certain things you don't know, I will be including some links to tutorials that maybe that might help you to get you up to speed to do this tutorial. Um, but also there's plenty here just to play with as well. If it's something that you, you're not quite getting, there's still plenty here to play with just to make something that looks nice and feels nice. You can drop your own music in and have a bit of a play. Oh, I hope you enjoy the series. If you have any feedback or questions, you're able to send them through to me um, through the website. And I hope you enjoy. Thank you.